Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to go ahead and do a mixture of crafts with kids, a DIY project, and a home decor project. So we've been waiting to do this video for quite a while, and with Valentine's Day being a couple days away, we decided to go ahead and do this video for you guys today. We are going to be making my daughter um, a DIY children's mirror for her room. We've been looking online for quite a while, trying to find one. She's been asking for a full length mirror and everything that we have found so far is either really expensive or it's just not her style. So we decided to go ahead and do our own and we are able to do this project for under $25. I will go ahead and list in the description box the links to all of the materials that we are going to be using and all the things that you will need for this project and where to purchase them at, all right? All right guys, so these are all the materials that we are going to be using for our DIY project. So we have, so we decided to go with the little cotton poof balls for her mirror. So we have these, we have all different colors because Chloe wants to go ahead and do a rainbow theme to match her room. We have all the little cotton balls. We have the little pixie lights. Now we went ahead and got these little, what are they? They are popsicles little rainbow popsicle lights to go around the mirror. And then we have, of course, our glue sticks, our Velcro command strips, and our glue gun. All right guys, so the first thing we need to do here before we even get to the fun part is we need to go ahead and place the mirror where you want it and at what height. We went ahead and measured it according to Chloe's height. So if she's standing, she can see her full body if she's sitting to do her hair or play with her play makeup that she's able to sit down and still do her makeup in the mirror. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get a level and just a pencil and you want to place the mirror where you want to go at whatever height and then we're going to go ahead and okay, okay, so hurts. once you have the mirror level we're going to go ahead and take the level off of the top of the mirror and I'm just going to go ahead, ooh, without marking the mirror, mm -hmm. and I'm going to put a mark at the top of the corner and at the side, on both sides of the very top of the mirror. Alright guys, now that we have marked out, we we'll make sure the mirror is going to be level. We mark the corners of the top and side of the mirror. We're going to go ahead and put these Velcro command strips on there and let them sit so that they adhere to the wall. Go ahead and push them down really good. And then now we know on the back of the mirror exactly on the corners and the top and the side, we're going to put the same exact strips to hang the mirror. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started with the project. Before we do, we're going to show you exactly what we are doing. If you see here, we have the full length body mirror for Chloe's room. She decided to go with the little puff balls. You can go with puff balls. You can go with 3D stickers, seashells, glitter, ribbon, basically whatever is your preference. You can get these at any craft store. You can get them at Walmart. You can order them on Amazon. Uh, we name is Rainbow. So we're going to show you what we are going to do here. She went ahead and she's going to take the hot glue gun. Put a little dollop of glue on the frame and then whatever color she's going to stick that right up there hold it for a couple seconds and then release it she's going to do this all the way around the frame parents make sure you are supervising with the hot glue gun because as chloe learned the hard way you can definitely burn yourself all right and sorry guys this is my daughter chloe say hi chloe hi. and she's going to go ahead and finish off this project with you Oh, mm -hmm. 
right, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed making this project with us. This was a fun one to do with the kids. It took about an hour, an hour and a half. Chloe was busy doing it the whole time, and then Shaddock stepped in and tried to help her a little bit, so I was able to get some stuff done around the house. Now remember, if you haven't subscribed yet, please push that subscribe button, and if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Thank you for all of your support, and tune in for the next video. Next week's video is going to be an organization of your pantry, so make sure to tune in for next week. Thank you.